Okay, so let's head to our newly created page. I'm just gonna close this down and go to um, login. I'm gonna click on it and then I'm also wanna click on the login.scss, which will be the other uh, file we'll be working with on this particular lecture. So I'm just gonna open up split editor. Uh, this is a cool feature that uh, Visual Studio Code has and maybe your own code editor also has it if you're not using Visual Studio Code. But just to note guys, Visual Studio Code is free so you can also use this if you wish. Okay, so we've got our login HTML here as well as our login.scss. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're not going to need to have a header or a navbar because we're only going to have one background image um, and then at the back of that, I mean on top of that, we'll have our logo and then the place where you put in your password and username and so on. So we don't really need this. So let's go ahead and delete this. And we're only going to require just having the iron content uh, part so far. So within the iron content here, let's give it a class where our background image will sit. So we're going to write the class and let's name our class uh, background image. And this is where the background image will sit and as well as we don't want it to scroll. So when someone is on the page and they scroll, I mean, they swipe their finger up and down the application. We don't want the, the app or that page to scroll. So let's go ahead and also write in that class there and we'll just call this class here, no scroll. So let's go ahead and then define these classes within our SCSS. So the first one we call, we called it BG image. And what we want is that we want to set a background image, right? And we'll set the URL just now. And we don't want the background to repeat. So what we'll do is that we'll just uh, put this in and say no repeat. Next, we want the background position of the image to be centered. So we're going to say center and we want the background size to also contain, contain. Cool. So now let's put in our background image. So I'm going to navigate to my finder and uh, look for where this background image is. And there it is here. So I've already gone ahead and dragged this down into my app assets here under image. So you can feel free to do the same thing, guys. Uh, just click and then drag it in there. And then there is the login JPEG image here that, that we'll be using. So it's already in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and then reference to it here in the code. So I'm going to say you'll find this in assets for slash image for slash login. That's the name of the image login dot JPG. Now let's go ahead and then also then uh, declare the no scroll class we also wrote in there. So I'm going to go down there here and type in the no scroll and then also scroll content. And then this year we're going to say overflow must be hidden. So overflow must be hidden. And there we go. So if I would save this or if we will save this and then try to go ahead and then look at the application right now, if we go in there, I'm just gonna just refresh it manually there. If 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 I go there now, you see that we can't get to our page because we haven't linked this to the page yet. So what we want to do is that we want to view that page, but we can't view it now because when the app reloads upon save, it shows us this page, right? So during development, one thing that I like to do is whichever page I'm currently working on, I set the app, the code to show that page first. So in this case, what we'll do is that we'll go back to Visual Studio Code and then we'll go into App Components and then we will say that show me the first page that you must show when the application loads must be the login page, not the intro page anymore. And then we also need to import that page. So I'll just change this from being intro to login and also from pages, not intro anymore, login and login. This is where the page resides. So I'm going to save that. And let's go back and now check our application. And there we go. There's our newly created login page and I'm toggling or scrolling down on my mouse and the page is not scrolling up or down. So everything looks good so far. So in the next lecture, let's then go ahead and then put in all the other elements like the logo 
and their passwords field and the username field and so on and the other buttons. I'll catch you in the next one.